question number nine. Translation T maps A into bracket minus six two onto A prime three five. Determine the translation vector T. Uh, then we have part B. A point P prime minus four two is an image of P under T. Translation T. Determine the coordinates of P. So translation. Uh, we can say if this is a point A, it is translated to point A prime. Translation, you get the number of steps you got along the, the, the x-axis and the number of steps you move to, to, to the y-axis. So that is what, uh, so we can say T is represented by the number of steps that you move along the x-axis and the number of steps that you move along the y-axis to get to the new point uh, so if we take this is uh, the starting point or the, the, the uh, that is uh, the origin of the x-y axis we can say uh, t is equals to uh, o a uh, minus o a o a plus minus o a and since we have been given the coordinates of a uh, we say o a you just write it in uh, vertical form uh, or in column form o a is the same as minus that is uh, o a is a o a plane is the same as three uh, five and uh, you minus o a is a minus six two all right that will give you uh, three minus minus six that will be three plus six and that will give you nine uh, five minus two is three uh, meaning uh, t is equals to nine step you move nine step to the positive side of the of the x-axis and three units along the y-axis so nine three uh, so you get one mark a point p prime minus four two is the image of p under translation uh, t determining the coordinates of p as uh, we have said uh, translation is equals to then it is o p prime uh, min uh, that is uh, that is my that is uh, minus uh, o p and here we have o p prime so we can say uh, t we have seen it is 9 3 that is a translation is equals to op we write this in column form it is minus 4 uh, 2 that is op is equals to o that is not equals to but minus op so if we get op we'll be able to get uh, the coordinates of p uh, because op is a uh, we'll be able to get uh, the, 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 because OP, uh, what do we call it? Column vector. Uh, OP means the vector from the origin. So we say OP is equals to. We take it to the other side. Uh, then we have minus four and two. Uh, this becomes minus minus nine and three, like that, which is equals to minus four minus nine is minus thirteen. Uh, and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Uh, since OP is equals to, this implies that the coordinates of P are minus 13 and uh, uh, minus 3. Uh, this is what we call position vector. Well, that's what I had forgotten. Position vector. We have position vector. When you are given the position vector, then the, it would get the coordinates of that point. Then you write it in uh, horizontal manner, or you write it, you just revert it, and in, it, you write it in horizontal manner. And that is how you uh, do that. So the important thing, this is vectors one, which you covered in form two. Uh, you are taught about uh, position vector, column vector, how and uh, uh, you also did uh, translation, uh, so you should be able to combine that uh, and be able to come up with uh, uh, the, the answer to this question. And that way you'll be able to score two marks there and one mark in part A.